That's what it's like in America right now, right? That's what it's like. It's like you, you're, you're. Everybody is gagged and tied. Who? <laughs> yeah, everybody's on, on. I was watching a little CNN today, and that's what, that's what it reminded me of. The corporations have us, ha- have us silenced, have us afraid, poor, right? When everybody is gagged and tied and poor, right? Seventy percent of the country doesn't have four hundred dollars to their name, right? Six, I, I've heard mixed estimates of what that is. I've heard Jimmy Dore runs a number. It's sixty-three percent don't have um, <clears throat> don't have you know a thousand dollars to their name. So people are people are living in object poverty in this country. They're gagged and they're tied. They can't travel. They can't move around. They, they constantly think, this is the big one, they constantly think it has something to do with them. It's their inability to, to make money, to, to prosper, that there's some, somehow that there's a character defect in them that, that makes them unable to penetrate a, and have a prosperous and happy life, a, a life that they can remember that perhaps their parents had or a, a, a life that was promised in this country uh, of um, shared wealth, shared you know, shared opportunity. But instead, what what it is is a a a constant um, a constant a constant gagging of the American people by the corporations. It's got to stop. I want my fucking country back. <laughs> we should we should be look the the the, the deal is this right so. So I, I don't have any topic to talk about today, any specific thing. I think that I think that the you know the fundamental problem with people right now is is that you watch these jerk offs on CNN right now, right now. Turn it on, Russia, Russia, Russia. Right, Russia has nothing. The the, the Russia scare has nothing to. You have nothing to gain, nothing to gain, nothing to gain from that bullshit story right the russia story is a way for the oligarch the oligarchy the big corporations goldman sachs and jp morgan and all the big banks to navigate their way around the globe and keep everybody poor keep everybody down right russia because russia is a potential a potential competitor china is a potential competitor and it's it it scares the status quo because look I said it in a prior video. I've said it all the time. That if the if the United States doesn't give these these uh, new world order type corporations that go around the globe and you know sow the seeds of war, sow the seeds of disease, so that they could profit from disease, from war, from famine, to destabilize uh, nations, so that they can. They can build it up again and, and subcontract it and, and, and siphon the oil and the labor out of these countries, right? Without military might, without United States military might and backing, none of it is possible. Why? Because most of what they're doing is illegal. It breaks international treaties and laws and it's, it breaks humanitarian <laughs> stuff. It's fucking illegal. And what does it do at home, too? It doesn't, these corporations extending themselves globally doesn't profit from us because they don't, the money never trickles down. They take it, they put it in tax havens, they, 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 they export the, the labor abroad, right? They, they make some jobs, but not a lot of jobs. And once they have, once they, they get some jobs going in the U.S., they analyze it and then subcontract it abroad for, a fraction of the price so 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 we we must we must we must we must keep our eye on the ball as americans right if you want a cultural revolution in this country a boom like the 60s it's absolutely possible and it's right around the corner right if you want 
the arts to flourish again, if you want music to flourish again, if you want people to speak their minds like they did in the 60s and, and carry on signs and conjugate into the, into the squares like Woodstock and those kind of giant events where people come together, you will never get it unless you, with, with the oligarchy. They're squeezing people where they have no money, where, where people are on food stamps. If they go out and, and take a trip, they'll starve to death, right? Right? There's no more, like, that's, that's the fundamental problem right now. We must, we must, look, I, I was just looking at, at um, one, one, one particular company, like Apple, right? I got an iPhone, right? I, I use the products, right? I'm, I'm just as guilty as everybody else, right, in, in fueling that, that thing, right, of fueling that, that oligarchy, that company that has so much wealth and, and it, this enormous reach around the globe and and they owe 35 billion dollars in tax right that, that you know, two years ago right rather than pay the tax they take and they stick it in dublin and and uh in a tax haven right the thing to know about for example apple all the answers lie in the stock market all the answers lie in the in the global the globalist markets right Apple, 63% of Apple, right, the shares, right, publicly traded companies are supposed to be for the public. They're no longer for the public. What they are is they're, they're, whole, they're, they're wholly owned. They're, they're more than 50% of the float is owned by institutions, right? So their institutional holdings are greater than the, the, the 50% mark, which gives them voting rights and control over the company, right? So the idea that publicly traded companies are public is not factual anymore right they're they're owned by by institutions and who are the institutions the banks the mutual funds that are also the banks that right it's it's they're all you know what here's another thing that you got to watch for right the 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 corporations now that they got their tax breaks they're using this line um oh yeah we're buying back our stock right you know what that means right when they buy back their stock, they're buying it from the market maker down the street, who's their cousin, right? So they put, they buy those five billion shares or five million shares back, and they're not buying in the open market. They're block buying. They're bu they're buying block shares that sometimes th the shares don't even exist, right? Like they're they're manufacturing more shares, right? And then they're they're buying it back from their friend down the corner. Why? Why can they get away with shit like this? Why? Why? <clears throat> If people knew how corrupt the that sort of thing is on Wall Street, they, they they would pull their money out of the market in five minutes, right? Because there's no regulation, right? They threw all the regulations in the garbage. These it's like the Wild West on Wall Street, right? The SEC it doesn't do that. They don't do their job anymore, right? Not a single banker goes to jail anymore, right? Only somebody like you know Martha Stewart who gets in the way of the of the of the fun, right? They throw her in jail, they, but. But Gold, Lloyd Blank find it, they do insider trading. Ninety percent of institutional trading is insider trading. It's illegal, but there's no consequence because th that's just what they do, right? They, you know. So, so anyway, that was my uh, that was my rant. This this game of this game of oligarchy, this game of of big me, little you, little big big them, little us, right? The, the powerful 1% that controls so much, right? Right? Like we said, you know, the, 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 look, the initial, the initial tree, the initial seed for all this was Occupy Wall Street. When hope and change, right, what Obama was saying, Obama promised a lot, universal health care, you know, they, they, he promised so much and gave nothing, right? And from that, Occupy Wall Street happened. But you also have to, you can look on YouTube and you'll see a hundred videos of Bernie Sanders throughout the 90s, throughout the Bush era, saying the same thing. He was, he was screaming from the rooftops that the oligarchy, that the, the billionaire class is raping the country, right? And then in, in, a, in, a, in a moment of clarity, people saw it, young people saw it with Occupy Wall Street. And then that surged into the Bernie Sanders for president movement, right? It's very real, right? It, it, it's still, it is the only, it's the only way to stop the jerk-offs on TV right now trying to sell a, a fucking, 
a, a cold war with Russia so that they can get their military industrial complex to continue to build up the arms, the pseudo arms race against an enemy we don't have. They don't necessarily need a war. They need a conflict. They need a, a threat. Because if they have a threat, then they can, Lockheed Martin will make, uh, you know, $50 billion in, in arms sales, right? They'll they fund NATO. They, there's so many ways that they make money through this Cold War propaganda, right? And the scary part of it is that you, you come very close to war because everybody's got guns and bombs and all kinds of shit floating around. So that's my rant for uh, tonight. I, I feel like I, 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 I want to I wanna say so much more. And, um, and, and uh, you know, to people that are, are, are gaslighted and, and confused about who the enemy is, thinking that it's, it's somehow, you know, the, an orange monster who won an election, you know, you, you, look, it, you got to keep your eye on the ball. It's, it's the oligarchy. It's the monopoly. We must, all war as the 99% is against corporate America. Tax them. Tax them. Don't break them up. Don't regulate them. Don't do anything. You tax them. Weaponize the IRS against them, right? You tax them. And when they, when they fail to, to meet their tax, you throw them in jail. You jail them, right? You jail them. And in the, in the process, you can let go of uh, uh, pedestrian income tax. You probably don't even need it. After, once, you, once you tax the publicly traded companies and make them work on behalf of the public again, then we have velocity of money again. Money then hits the real economy and American people will prosper. And then you have cultural boom. Then you have small business ingenuity. You have a, a whole flourishing, uh, uh, a whole, fl a whole you know, potential of, uh, of, uh, of, of, uh, of new business and new ingenuity spring up. But right now what you got is, is, is nothing. Stagnation is, is fear and and, and propaganda and, and, and bullshit that people have to swallow on a daily basis. My name is Marcus Conte. Peace out.